seen another beautiful day in God's kingdom. Today, we continue to look at this issue of family. As we declare this whole month of February in Garden of Hope, we're saying, my family is blessed. And so is yours in the name of Jesus. So come with me as we go along and take a look at this story that we have before us. And, you know, we talk about this, um, the beauty of siblings. And it's really emphasized and played out in this story that we have. Um, so let's take a look at the book of Numbers chapter 27. And here the Bible says from verse 1, it says, One day a petition was presented by the daughters of Zelophehad, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. Their father, Zelophehad, had died in the wilderness, they said. He was not among Korah's followers who rebelled against the Lord. He just died because of his own sin. Basically, he died of old age. And they said, why should the name of our father disappear from his clan simply because he had no sons? Give us property along with the rest of our relatives. Now, these women, these sisters had come together because they realized that as land was being um, distributed to all the families, you know, across the tribes of Israel. Now that they had arrived in Canaan, they realized that their father's, their father's, um, father's family basically will not be getting anything because there was no male, um, there was no male heir and their father had died. And so they came together. They must have come together. One of them or two of them, whoever recognized the problem and they came together, probably talked about it and came together and presented a united front to come before Moses. Now they were asking for something that had never been done before. Women owning land, women, you know, being given um, an inheritance in this manner was not something that was done or had been done, but they didn't, it didn't matter to them. They knew that they had a just cause and they felt that it, would, it was that strong that they could come up to Moses, even though it was not the norm, you know, and of course, the Bible says that Moses went ahead and spoke to God and he asked God um, what to do in this situation. And God said to and God said to him in verse seven, the claim of the daughters of Zelophehad is legitimate. You must give them a grant of land along with their father's relatives, assign them the property that would have been given to their father. And that was the first time this was done and God instituted it as a law and said, if a man dies and has no son, then give his inheritance to the daughters. So, you know, we see the beauty here when siblings come together and they're able to um, stand their ground and ask for what they want in the same way, even today. As believers, we can come together with our siblings to pray. We can come together with our siblings to make petitions to the Lord, to cry out, whether for our families or, you know, for the future of our homes or whatever. We can come together as siblings and cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, intervene in this matter, in whatever um, situation it is that we find ourselves. That is on the one hand. And on the second hand, you know, I also just, just as an aside, I just find the beauty here that God would listen to these women, even though it was not the norm. God intervened and said, you know what? Let them have what they want. I know a lot of times we don't get what we want because we don't ask of God. And you never know what God is going to say. Tradition, culture, the environment, the society, all of that may say nay, but you never can tell what God will say unless, I mean, until you ask. Praise the name of the Lord. Anyway, God bless you. Have a beautiful day.